Hi, Terry. Hi. Um, after the after the loss over the weekend, um, what's kind of been the mood and the attitude uh, amongst your players kind of leading up to tomorrow? Well, I wouldn't say it was, um, you know, the mood we had to we have to get over it. Uh, disappointment. Um, you know, I think there's some anger. I think we were a little bit embarrassed, you know, by the score. Uh, not that we would have felt better if it was a two or three point loss, but um you know, uh, it just was not our day and um, had a hard time, you know, uh, with anything offensively going down for us. I think it would have been different. Maybe some of those earlier shots would have fallen, but they didn't. Um, and um, and so we've had to, uh, you know, feel bad for ourselves. Uh, for We have a 24-hour uh, rule that we can feel bad for ourselves. Um, or we can celebrate ourselves after a win, and then we got to move on. And uh, Monday we got back to work. Tuesday we took it off. Uh, yesterday and today we uh, just have completely been in prep mode for a really good Murray State team. Talia, hey Terry, hi. Um, obviously, Lexis has taken on a much bigger role this season. Was there a moment or an interaction you had with her that really made you think or know that she was ready to take on that bigger role? Yeah, no, T. I th I think she's she's done it in the work she the of the summer. I mean, this summer she she's really, um. And I, let me let me back up even further than that. I think as soon as we had our end of the meeting, uh, conversation with Lex, um, you know, she tried to apply what we were asking her to do and what we needed her to do, um, and she got right to work, got right to work, and so, uh, by by far, you know, I just think there's a there's a comfort level there. Uh, for she and Lily, I think they know, you know, now the expectations, the standards that we have for our program. Um, and she she just had a great summer. She had a great, um, you know, um, preseason for us um, in practice before we went to Greece. And so, um, you know, she has been probably one of the most vocal kids we've had in practice, which has been great to see. Uh, you want that from your point guard. And um so I don't I don't think that, you know, she and I have had to have any uh, off, you know, off the floor conversation. She's done exactly what we've asked her to do. And um, because of that, you have, you know, certainly seen her her minutes have increased. And, um, you know, she gives us something different, you know, in terms of her athleticism, um, her ability to guard. Uh, she's athletic. Um, and um, and I, I think she'll just continue to get more comfortable and, and better. And that's good for us. We'll go Mike and then Audrey. Uh, yeah, coach, um, you know, I know you mentioned the 24 hour rule, but and a, a lot of the, you know, none of the players on your team right now have had a loss like that at the collegiate level. Are you interested right. to see how they do respond when they get back in the game? Um, yeah, see I mean, I think, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to say yesterday was, you know, uh, like I said, Monday was, you know, we were still a little bit down, uh, but practiced hard for probably about an hour and 15 minutes. Um, and then, uh, watched film, had a great film session first and foremost. And then, um, you know, Tuesday we took it off yesterday, uh, you know, typical after coming off of a day off, uh, they were, they were, I, you know, I think there was a little bit still of a hangover there. Um, but uh, I thought today they were much better. I think everybody's kind of ready to move on. Um, and to your point, we've never lost. It's been a long time since we've lost that badly. Um, and um, it did, it hurt. It hurt all of us. It was a, a major sting. Um, but the, you know, the, the, the good thing is it's early in the seasons. It's only, it's only ball game number two for us. And that's what I keep reminding them. Like, um, you know, people are going to be interested in how we bounce back tomorrow. And, um, you know, I think this is a, again, and a group that I have a tremendous amount of confidence in that um, they're going to bounce back. I, I hope, but I, I think in a really big way, uh, you will see, um, We'll see him come back uh, tomorrow night, I think, and be better because of the experience we had at Stanford. And you can have an off night, like you said, um, but was there anything when you watched the film that you were concerned about, you know, from any aspect of the loss, you know, just something specific or, I mean, did you chalk it up to just, you know, perfect storm? Shots of... didn't fall, but 32 are, it's a little bit more than we like to take. You know, we, we didn't get anything happening, you know, going on on the inside uh, and credit that to Stanford. Um, but, um, you know, points on the inside uh, were hard to come by. Um, and so I thought we settled. We settled for, for you know, a lot of threes. Uh, I wanted Chloe to be aggressive. 
Um, but, um, you know, again, I just think we 32 threes for our ball team is a little is too many. Um, and we needed to try to figure out how we, you know, because one of the things that, um, you know, there there were some um, um, holes in their defense. Uh, I'll just say that that we we probably could have taken better uh, advantage of. Um, and part of part of that is my fault. You know, I didn't go to our motion, our dribble drive until the second half. And uh, maybe if I would have gone to that a little bit sooner, earlier, uh, we could have gotten gotten some drive and drops, drive and kicks. Um, you know, and so uh, it's as much my responsibility as it is anybody's uh, in terms of, you know, play calling them and trying to help them. And um, and so I had to I've had to learn a lot and reflect a lot as well. Hopefully I'm a better coach tomorrow. Audrey. Coach, can I can um, going back to Alexis a little bit, do you think you can speak a little bit more about the confidence that you've had in her this season? And obviously she has had a much bigger increased role off the bench. Um, do you see that increasing throughout the rest of the season as well? I mean, we'll see, you know, I think again, she gives us, um, you know, great backup and for, you know, for Chloe, she also gives us the ability to move Chloe off the ball, um, which is great also. Um, and so she's, she's, um, you know, I mean, her, her minutes could increase just based on the fact that she's that point guard, but can relieve Chloe at the, at the point guard, but also we can move Chloe off the ball as well. Uh, so she gives us two really bright, bright things or bright spots, I think. Um, but, um, yeah, I think she's super confident and that can only come from your work. And as we say in our program, and, um, I think you're seeing a, a confident Lex, uh, Lexus because of the work that she's put in, uh, you know, there's been a lot of, a lot of times, uh, spent in cook hall with she and, uh, Allie Patberg, uh, she and some of our managers that are just shagging balls for her while she shoots. Um, so she's, she's putting the time in. Uh, the gym without question. And um, that's that's where her confidence is coming from. Skip and then Matthew. Good afternoon, coach. Thanks for your time. Yep. Yep. Um, in a similar vein as to Talia's question, uh, you've gotten a lot of quality minutes out of Lily, Bo, and Lexi uh, specifically. What is it that you're liking the most from the bench and what can we expect to see from them moving forward? Well, I mean, I, I think they're giving us, except for excluding the Stanford game with Lily, you know, um, yeah, they're just giving us great minutes. Uh, Henna has been a sturdy, reliable defender for us. Um, you know, I'd like for her to, again, be able to knock down open shots at a more consistent rate. Uh, but, you know, Lexi, obviously her, her charge is to pick up the ball full court, um, you know, play great D and then push that thing in transition for us, get us in our offense. And so, um, you know, I think we have great confidence in all three of those women uh, that can come in and as we call it, Skip, just do your job, you know, do what we're asking you to do and, um, and impact the game. And, um, you know, when, when we have a lead, it's not just to hold on to the lead, it's to increase the lead. Um, and so those minutes are important. They're important. We believe in those kids that they can come in and contribute and help us. Um, defensively and offensively um and so yeah it's it's great to have you know some depth that we can really rely on Matthew uh you you talked uh before about last season with with Sarah's confidence kind of going up and down against Stanford she missed a bit more uh than she has did you coaching staff players kind of approach her uh about maintaining that confidence uh, no, there hasn't been any real um, conversation. You know, Sarah's old. Um, and I don't think Sarah, just based on watching her in practice, watching her even in the game, I mean, she's still willing to take shots. Um, you know, another kid that relies on the work um, that she's done in the off season, um, the thousands and thousands of shots that she's gotten up. Um, and so, you know, again, we believe in her wholeheartedly. I think she believes in herself. Um, without, without question, without hesitation, um, she's not gonna, she's going to continue to shoot and, um, you know, that thing's going to continue to go in like we've seen it go in, but, um, you know, she hasn't hesitated in practice. She's, uh, you know, done her, her, her same routine, uh, after practice, gotten more shots up. And so, um, yeah, I think this is a different Sarah. This is a more confident Sarah. She, she realizes that it's just, um, you know, it just didn't fall for her. 
on Sunday. Uh, but I think her expectations are for them to fall tomorrow night. All right. Thanks, Coach. Yep. Thank you, guys.